Hey, fourth grade, how's it going? Hope you guys are ready for art. Uh, today, I'm going to read you guys a book called Drawn Together, and then we'll do a quick comic book activity based on that. So, hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, I'm Mr. Mill, and welcome to the Drawing Mill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Mr. Mill, and today we have a new book. This one's called Drawn Together. Now, this one I found in the library in the friends and family section. Uh, based on grandparents, but I thought it was very artistic. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I've never read this before, but it's won multiple awards. And uh, let's go from there. Sometimes you don't need words to find common ground. Right, drawn together. Oh, must be his grandfather. Ooh, Disney inspired. Okay, nice. All right, let's take a look at this book together. All right, over here we got a boy ringing the doorbell. Looks like he's going to his grandparents' house. Or his grandfather's house, bowing, peaceful, uh, with respect, waving goodbye to mom, and here we go. Do you guys feel that way when you guys go to your grandparents' house? Don't really want to be there. Don't see eye to eye. Alright, let's keep reading on. Alright, looks like they're about to eat dinner. Uh, looks like he has some, uh, a ramen bowl, and he has, kid has hot dogs and fries, a little salad. Right, here we go. So, what's new, Grandpa? And he's speaking different language. Uh, looks like they're watching a movie. Not really communicating. <laughs> it's like they're watching like an anime of some sort. He says something in a different language. And then the son goes, oh sorry, the grandfather, uh, the grandson goes, can we watch something else? <laughs> Voices off. Alright, here we go. Oh look, he looks like he's like pulling some art supplies from his backpack. And he starts to draw. And that got his grandfather's intention. Ooh, very nice. Looks like our relationship's about to click. All right, grandfather walks away, pulls out a sketchbook and some ink. Ooh, something I would do. <laughs> there we go. Puts it right beside his grandson. Right when I gave up on talking, my grandfather surprised me by revealing a word beyond words. And in a flash, We see each other for the first time. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Getting along through art. That's so cool. All right, here we go. All the things we could never say come pouring out. You can see the two different art styles coming together. It's grandfather's art style and kid's art style. Very nice. Wow. And we build a new world, wor sorry, and we build a new world that even words can describe. Oh, that's so cool. Such a cool idea for a book. Alright. But just when we're closer than ever... Oh no! Looks like he's falling. <laughs> that old distance. That's metaphorical. <laughs> Comes roaring back. So it looks like their distance is represented by a dragon. Maybe this should be a fifth grade lesson. Now that I think about it. <laughs> this is supposed to be a younger lesson, but I think I might change my mind. Alright. Looks like the grandfather picks up the son's uh, or the grandson's uh, wand. Does he draw? And then the grandson picks up the grandfather's thing. This time I'm not afraid. It looks like they're about to paint with different or sorry, do art with different supplies that they're used to. Oh, that's so cool. Let me read it again. This time I'm not afraid because I know that together, looks like they're fighting, their old distance, we can make our way across. <laughs> now, after years of searching for the right words, we find ourselves happily speechless. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Them getting along. Right. Mom's here to pick them up. Looks like that's her daughter. Uh, that's his daughter. And looks like they exchanged uh, drawing utensils. Nice. You can see something in the sky as well. That's so cool. And there's the dragon in the back. Wow, this is really, really cool. Um, we don't have time to worry about the author right now, but let's just focus on the idea of the book. Um, this is basically bringing family together when you don't have much to say. And I like this book a lot. Uh, this is the first time I've ever read it. 
and I thought it was really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that book. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, so let's start with what we're going to do today. So today I figured uh, to get started with our first art project of the year in fourth grade, I kind of want to get to know what you guys did over your summer break. So with that said, um, all you need is a blank sheet of paper, uh, a printer paper or a sketchbook would work, and you can either hold it horizontally or vertically. Um, I'm going to hold mine horizontally for these purposes. And then what you're going to do is that you need to divide it up to four spots. So in order to do that, you can either fold it in half and fold it up, or you can just take a pencil or a pen and just, like divide it like regularly like, with, uh, with lines. But um, it's up to you. So what I'm going to do is to make it more straight, um, I am going to at least fold it up a little bit just so my horizontal line is straight. Just like this. And then I am going to take a marker. In my case, I'm going to use a Sharpie. And again, Sharpie does bleed through. Uh, and again, you don't need a marker. You could just use, oh, sorry, you're going to need a marker later, but you don't need to use marker to divide the lines. So I got that one right there. And then for the vertical line, I don't have a ruler, but I, mean, I do have a ruler, but I don't want to get it right now. So let's use this uh, clipboard. Right, I think the middle is like right there. I'm guesstimating at the moment. And I think this is the middle right here. So I'm going to draw a line just like this, and it doesn't have to be perfect. All I need is to have four quadrants. So now, the book was about kind of like how the grandfather and then the uh, grandson were trying to get along together. Uh, they didn't have that much in common, but what they did have in common was art. Even though the artwork were a little bit different, but it was able to com combine, and uh, they are able to, you know, have something in common. So what we're going to do uh, for this project, it'll be really easy, uh, I want you guys to think of four things you guys did over the summer and then uh, instead of making it into like a story like how a normal comic book is um, they could be separate things so four things that you did over the summer and then just put it uh, in each block now if I were you I would create a little section below each section right here so I'm gonna use a marker and I'm gonna use blue and I'll tell you guys why in a little bit uh, but I'm gonna make a little text box section on the bottom of each uh, quadrant and what I'm gonna do is that in each quadrant, I can write uh, what I did over the summer. And I already have four things in my mind that um, I did. And then I'm gonna tell you guys what they are. Wow, my handwriting's really bad today. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so I have four things that I did over the summer. Now all I have to do is illustrate it. Now, uh, before you guys get started, to make this more complicated, and to make this more directed so it looks like we kind of did go off the book that we just read, I want you guys to only use a pen and a marker. It doesn't matter what color you have to use, but you can only use these supplies. If you want to use pencil, uh, sorry, if you want to use pencil, uh, just to sketch it out, you're allowed to, but when it comes to coloring or other mediums, you're only allowed to use a pen and a marker. So what I'm going to do, uh, depending on how long this video is, I might have to speed it up. If not, that's okay. But right now, I'm just going to illustrate all four things I did. So uh, here I go.
All right. So this is the finished product. Um, I only used um, pen and marker, like I said I would. Um, the only thing that I didn't use, or the only thing that was different, was the sharpie that used to divide the lines. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this project. Hope you guys enjoyed the book, and I'll see you guys in the next video.